Hi guys, in this video we are going to look at control flow in Python, how the flow of program goes and how you can alter that flow using if else condition, right? So if else is a very basic condition available in every programming language and we will see. So if block, if you insert a if block, so what will happen is that it will check, right? it will check if the condition is true, the corresponding block uh, code will be executed but if this condition is false it will come at an else if block right so this is called a else if block and in python we write it as elif in short it is written as elif so it will check the condition b is true if the condition b is true it will execute this part and if it is false it will it is going to definitely execute this part right so the idea is if this is false this is false this is going to be executed but if this is true so this is not going to be executed or if this is true only this is going to be executed and all other blocks will not execute right so only one of the blocks will get executed if you use a if elif and else block right so only one block in which the condition is true gets executed right and if the condition is not true if this condition is not true and this is also not true then whatever is written in the else block will get executed right suppose you want to write a program to input an integer from the user and you have to print minus one if the number is negative zero if the number is zero and one if the number is positive so the first approach that might come to your mind is to use three if conditions right if you want to use three if conditions right so this is fine this is fine but this is not cool right why because you are doing a lot of unnecessary work right so if this condition suppose the number is uh, minus 5 right suppose x is minus 5 then this condition is checked and you get the output as minus 1 right again this condition is again checked right? so this condition is again checked which increases computation and computer has to do some extra work right so and again this condition is again checked but this block of code is not executed so you are wasting computer's resource in checking unnecessary conditions right so the I, good way would be you have to use a if as if and else block right so here you will use elif and here simply you will use else and here you will simply use else so what will happen now is if the first block is true if the first block becomes true all other blocks will not be checked elif and else blocks will not be checked and your output will be generated at the first place suppose first is false and the second is true in that case else it will not go to the else block and here we are doing three checks but using this we will we will be doing only one or the two checks right so it is recommended to use the if else else block and now let us uh, see this thing in our code as well right Okay, so let us see how do we write if else blocks. Okay, suppose uh, uh, let us say weather, right? So weather equals to input, and suppose I check if weather, right? So using these round brackets are optional, right? So if weather equals to rainy so uh, print uh, do not go outside if weather equals to cool print let's play cricket here it should be elif right so instead of using this i'm going to use elif and these are the colons which you have to use after every such condition right and else you will say print 
let us go for shopping and let us execute this now it is asking for the weather let me uh, say the weather is rainy it says do not go outside right so let's say the weather is cool it says let's play cricket okay so let us let me again let's say the weather is sunny so it says let us go for shopping this is how the if else blocks execute in python so i hope this is clear to you and one very important thing to note here is that to make sure that your print statement should uh, lie inside this block you have to use indentation otherwise you will get an error right so you should give an indentation of one tab when you are starting a new block if there are more in uh, more statements inside the same block you have to again give the indentation print uh, it's raining heavily right so it's raining heavily and now all of these instructions will be in the output so okay let me execute this one do not go outside it is raining heavily so all the instructions which are inside this block will will get executed right so this is where we use indentation in python right so i hope this concept of uh, blocks is clear and in the next video we will be talking about loops in python so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video